What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another wild wild day here in the world of cryptocurrency. Things on the overall market are not looking great today. The market is down a little bit. In today's video I'm going to bring you three metaverse tokens that I think can do very very well in the month of December and going forward. And we'll also be discussing the overall market so you have everything you need to know to stay fully up to date in the world of crypto. Now, just before we get to the video, if you don't know me already, my name's Connor, and of course, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy standing in his room talking about different ways to make money online. And for full transparency, I do currently own some of the tokens in this video, and I will plan to invest in some of these tokens in the video because some of them have not launched yet. You know I like to bring you these coins as early as possible. So if you appreciate that sort of thing, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, and without wasting any more of your time, we'll quickly jump onto the Bitcoin chart. And I'll just let you know that, as I said, this was the level of resistance. We have been rejected from that. I do see us still in this slow-ish, bear-ish, correction-ish territory for now until we break through this cleanly, break through this one clearly. We're looking at around the $58,000 to $60,000 range to really solidify us moving back into that bullish territory. For now, I don't think it's a bear market, but I do think we are in a little bit of a correction here. Bouncing around the $52,000 to the $58,000 is where we've been for a few days to weeks now. And I think this is where we're going to sit for a little bit longer. The market needs to chill out. People need to get their euphoria back, that sort of stuff. People who wanted to leave and take profits need to get the hell out of here. And we need to get on with the show, right? Talking about getting on with the show, if you guys didn't already know, I have joined the team of the Greedy Grams as an advisor. And this is a very, very interesting NFT project. We plan to bring you guys as much value and utility as we possibly can. And as of right now, you are still super early if you do want to come over and join the community. I have a link down there in my description to the Discord of the Greedy Grams. It is still quite small. And if you do get there early, there will be benefits for the people who arrive into the community as early as possible. Currently, the Greedy Grams are being displayed at the Art Basel Week in Miami, which is huge because they are alongside some of the biggest NFT projects in the space. And Greedy Grams has not even minted. They will be minted at the end of this month. And we are trying to make the best community possible. Now, let's jump onto CoinMarketCap and find out what is going on in this market. We'll quickly just jump onto CoinMarketCap. Like I said, 1.63% down on the day. Not bad, not great, but hey, it's just part and parcel of being a cryptocurrency investor. You can see the overall market is a little bit red. Like I speak about on the channel, my idea of a good thing to do right now is to go into the market, check how much it's down, and then look for projects that you already believe in. You've already done your research, and if they are down a lot more than the rest of the market, and they have no reason to be, for example, Avalanche here. I haven't researched this. This isn't a buy alert or anything like that, but this is down 6% on the day the market is only down 1.6 percent is there a specific reason this is down or is it just new investors getting a bit scared if it's new investors getting a bit scared this could be the perfect time to dollar cost average into your positions but as always this is not financial advice let's move on to the top metaverse tokens you can see the actual metaverse realm is taking more of a hit than the overall market. We spoke about this on the channel. I do think that metaverse gaming cryptos, that sort of thing, will have a little bit of a branch off from the market and we may see different things happening. We may also see things like Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Sandbox, those sorts of projects controlling the market. If they go down, the rest of the market goes down. You know, if Bitcoin moves about 5%, the altcoins tend to move more than them. So this is what I think we might see here in metaverse tokens. So Axie Axie Infinity down 5%. The general consensus for the big five here is about 5%. But if we go a little bit lower, you can see the lower down coins are down significantly more than that. Very, very similar to the wider world of crypto. So with all of that said, let's jump into Metaverse token number one, and that is Operium Origins. Oper, Oper, Operon. 
Oporan Origin. Sorry, I'm terrible at these mystic names, but this project stood out to me. One, because they have some big investors. They have people like Bluezilla, who, as you know, are behind a lot of really successful launch pads. And the game itself looks very, very interesting. We want to see games where people are actually putting effort into. I've spoken about this on the channel before. In the world of Metaverse now, because we're blowing up, there'll be projects popping up every single day saying they're going to be the next huge blockchain game, the next huge Metaverse, all of that stuff but they probably never will get there. So we have to pick out these projects specifically. Also, you guys have to do your own research. This is just simply my opinion based on this website. But if we do check out this video quickly here. That begins in time, 10,000 years in the future. Years of genetic evolution has led the operons in human DNA. Operons, operon origins. <laughs> to evolve, making them a genetically superior species. Anyway, you get the gist. They've put some effort into this video here. I'm sure they are still a long way off. You can go out and do your research into them. And the interesting thing about this coin is it is launching on PancakeSwap. Let's find out when exactly at 3 p.m. today, UTC. So you have a few hours to go and see if you want to invest in this project. One thing I have to say is when you get involved in projects on the day of the launch, there is nearly always always a pump at the very first day. So if you manage to get in super early, maybe you can make some profits, but do take into consideration if you chase the pump on the first day, there is a very high chance that the price will come down and you can get burnt. Now, obviously this is not financial advice, but I need you guys to be safe out there. Do not go into this, see that it's pumped, let's say two, three, four, however many X, and then go, this is the opportunity to buy because you've probably missed the boat. If you do get lucky, and manage to buy it early, that's great. If not, don't chase pumps. And that's not specifically about this coin. It's just about in general. When coins get launched, do not chase pumps because we nearly always see the charts cool off. And maybe if it's the exception to the rule and it doesn't cool off, there are hundreds of other opportunities every week coming out. So there is no need to trade on emotion. So that was metaverse pick number one. Now, before we move on to the rest of the video, if you do wanna make the most of this market volatility that we're in right now, over on Bybit, you can short the market if you want, you can long the market if you think it's gonna go up from here, and you can trade on leverage up to 100X. Now, I must say that leverage trading is only for experienced investors, but if you are an experienced investor, there is a lot of money to be made. Now, with Bybit, the reason I personally use the spot exchange is because the fees are some of the lowest in the market and they do some really good offerings for the people that are on the platform now for example if you do sign up using the link down in my description you can get up to three thousand five hundred dollars in bonuses when you move your money onto the platform on top of that they do also have a launch pad you know on this channel i love launch pads and here they'll be launching various different projects so they're a growing exchange they have a lot going for them and like i said if you do want to sign up there is a link down there in my description now let's move on to pick number two and that is Space Falcon. Now this stood out to me because it is a project on Solana. I really like to see these games launching on Solana. I do like the ecosystem. It's fast, it's cheap, it's efficient. All of those things I think will make for really good user experiences. And now another metaverse token that we spoke about here on the channel that is also built on Solana is Cryo War. From the IDO price, we did see around a 100X in this project. I invested both in the IDO round and on the public market. And this is a project that I really like. And these are the ones that we need to find early. So if we head back to Space Falcon, you can see again, the things that stand out for me are the design behind the game. I want to see some unique features, some unique ideas, that sort of thing. And also I do like to see the crew or the team behind the project. You can check them out on LinkedIn. You can email them if you like, check out the investors and go and read their white paper and all of that sort of stuff. But like I said, built on Solana, nice unique idea behind the project. That's what I'm I'm looking for and if you do want to get involved in this project this leads me onto project number three and that is actually called Rosie on Finance now this is a launch pad that is IDOing Space Falcon they haven't got a date yet 
but I also personally invested my money into Rosie on Finance. I bought one of the tiers here so I can get invested early into these projects. You can see that they have IDOs for Soul Chicks. This is another game built on Solana that I am also putting my money into. So there are a lot of projects here, but Roseon is quite early on. Now I must say this, please, please err on the side of caution with this project. I don't really like the, the way they've made the app. I think it is a very, very basic app. It needs a lot of work. The reason I decided to buy this project is because of the market cap being relatively low in comparison to some other launch pads. But the amount of money that I've invested into this project is enough for me to lose 100% of it and still be perfectly fine. So do keep that in mind. That's my investment philosophy when it comes to projects like this that I don't fully trust myself. Like I say on this channel, I don't like it when things seem rushed and this does seem a little bit rushed to me, but I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt because they do have a lot of projects coming and see what happens, but I am totally prepared to lose my money in this. But with a current low market cap and projects that are already launching that are quite large, this could be an opportunity to buy a launch pad before it absolutely explodes. Obviously there's no guarantee of that, but buying these projects as early as possible, for example, I bought KCC pad at just a few million dollars more than this, and that gave us amazing returns both in the coin and the opportunity it gave us. Just one project that gives you a 100X here on the IDO platforms can get you a full return on your investment. Now do keep in mind, whenever you get involved in IDO platforms, there will be a vesting period. What this means is you invest a certain amount of money, let's say it does a 100X, they will only give you a certain percentage on the first month, and this will be released to you slowly over time. Normally around one year with around 10% released monthly. Do keep that in mind, you do not get all of the money at the start, but in my opinion, this is a good thing. You get to be invested in projects for the long term, and it also stops people from dumping the money the very first day they land on the market. And this is completely normal. It's normal in crypto. It's also normal in the real world. So with all of that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really do love bringing you these projects as early as I possibly can. But please, I know I say this so much, but I genuinely care about you guys. Genuinely. Where I am in my life right now is 100 percent because of you guys. So for me, it's almost like a fight in my head, right? Should I bring the projects like Rosie on, for example, that I'm not 100% sure on, but I personally decided to invest in them? Should I bring them to you guys or should I keep them to myself? And now I decide to bring them to you guys, but I bring them to you guys with the, with the, with the hope that you will go out and do your research before investing in them. Do not invest in these projects based solely on me because I am just a guy standing in his room. With all of that, said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.